Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do my warm review on the kissing booth. Now I'm going to start this on a, um, to me it would be a sad note, you know. Um, me and my husband have sat down and we have discussed that I will, starting today, officially no longer appear on my YouTube videos and I will no longer show Isabella on my YouTube videos. And that makes me very sad and I know some of my subbies that have been around for a while are going to be sad about that, but it's for our own security. There's too many weirdos out there and as you guys seen from past comments, it's just, um, I guess if you're someone that works in a place where you're never seen, it's not a big deal, but I'm in Orlando, which is the number one travel destination in the world, and then I work in a job that I'm constantly out there meeting new people. I have about a hundred clients that I have to meet every month, new clients, so I'm in a position that I'm very out there, very, you know, visible. And the fact that I'm on YouTube and I don't know, it just freaks him out a little bit. He's been seeing some of the comments that have been left on my page and some of the comments that have been left on other people's page. And he's just, he says, I know you love making your videos, but I would be more comfortable if from now on you just make them like Kirby does. You know, he said her name because he sees me watching her videos. And don't show yourself just for your own safety. I know that I have, I'm not going to delete my past videos because I don't want to do that to you guys. But let's be honest, most people don't really backtrack that much. They watch the new videos. So those of you that know who I look like and know my smile on my face, I hope you guys could hear it through my voice when I'm talking to you. But um, yeah, that's it. I will no longer be on my videos and I'm so sorry. And please don't ask me to, to be on it because I want to, but I'm trying to make my husband happy or he's probably just going to say, don't do this videos at all. And I don't want it to get to that. But let's get to the kissing booth. Oh my God. I love this company. There is probably maybe one thing I didn't get. Yeah, one thing I didn't really get a scent throw on. Everything else is amazing. And I will be placing an order ASAP. I'm trying to be good because Christmas and everything is around, so I know I'm going to be spending thousands of dollars. I already got all my daughter's Christmas presents done, though. I went to Toys R Us .com and bought it all at once. It was awesome. It was delivered to the house. But for the adults, it's hard to buy online. I can't find anything for them. But let's get started. The first one I melted was one of the single tarts, and this is the Boozy, is it Boozy Brunch which is an effervescent champagne combined with fresh squeezed orange juice for my favorite before noon cocktail. I love this. I don't like orange scents that much, but this was a great orange scent and you could definitely smell the alcohol in this. You could definitely smell the effervescent champagne. So love it, we'll get it, it's clamshell worthy. I'm trying to keep this under 15 so I don't have an issue uploading it. All right, after church, the little ones. This one is my very favorite Sunday school treat. It was canned with vanilla frosting smashed between two graham crackers, washed down with a paper cup of sugary fruit punch. This smell awesome on a cold throw. I got no scent throw from this, but I was contacted by the owner. Um, she did send me an email saying that she was not getting the the central that she wanted out of this. So she has tripled the oil. So the new ones that come out, um, you should get some centro out of it, I'm hoping, because she said she tripled the oil. So that's awesome that she already noticed it wasn't you know up to par and she took care of it herself. So that's awesome. I do want to try that in a clamshell, and I will. This next one, I love it. Blackberry Bedtime which is blackberry layered with clean, clean mimosa blossom and a creamy white woods. I don't know if I got all of those notes there, but it was just so, I melted this in my office at work and it was so soothing. It would be a perfect, I think, um, something to put in your bedroom before you go to bed. I love this. I never thought I liked blackberry, but I love this. So I will definitely purchase that on a full clamshell. Moving on. 
we're going to go to slow your roll. This is slow your roll. As you can see, it's got little herbal shavings in there. And this one is calming eucalyptus and spearmint are the dynamic duel to help you unwind. Dried spearmint and eucalyptus leaf enhance the therapeutic, therapeutic oh, aroma. Whatever, I can't speak. This is without a doubt one of my favorite from this whole thing. Um, as you can see, I only needed one at a time. I've used it three times already because I love it so much. This is super strong and it's a perfect one for your bedroom as well. It's just so relaxing. It helps you feel like your whole stress of the day is going away. So we'll definitely be getting a couple of these. Okay, this one I really love the two. What, baby? What? It's dark. <laughs> All right, this is skating ring. And this is peppermint. You okay? It's okay. You hit the train. That's fine. She hit the, the Christmas tree train. Peppermint and spearmint bathe in sweet, creamy milk. I'll get it in a second, baby. You can fix it. You want to fix it? Oh, my God. This is so good, you guys. This has, like, it's a sugary peppermint, and it is so strong. It went for two days in my office at work, and I loved it. My coworkers loved it. The peppermint, it's not a strong peppermint. It mixes so well with the peppermint and the creamy milk. And it almost makes it feel like it's vanilla. You can smell the spearmint, the peppermint, the milk. It's great. This is another one that I'm going to buy another one for sure. Love it. I use two. You only need one cube at a time. So, God, I'm going over like I always do. And then YouTube doesn't want to... It's not YouTube. It's my stupid... Um, program at home the editing thing keeps saying that do you guys know how to fix this my editing thing keeps saying that it won't upload more than 15 minutes but youtube allows me to so i don't know maybe kirby can help me since she uses the same thing it's like the mac one all right so this is sugary peppermint candy bella you want to hold one of them for mommy hold it thank you sugary peppermint candy that's exactly what that is. And this one is super strong. For whoever does not enjoy peppermint, strong peppermint no. scent, you don't want to go with this one. I, as you can see, I only needed one cube. I love it, though. Love it, love it, love it. It's amazing. Perfect to sleep. Um, reminds me a little of Twisted Peppermint. But it's stronger. Um, the peppermint is stronger on this. So love it. We'll get more of this one for sure. All right, y'all. Next one is Sweet On You. I'm having to like go fast here. Sweet On You is a fresh citrus combined with central vanilla layered over bergamot, neroli, and tangerine for a sweet yet masculine aroma. I love this one. Um, once again, we'll definitely repurchase this. This one might be a two clamshell one because I really love it. And it's just super sweet. Almost reminds me of little of Eskimo Kisses from, from Scentsy. So I love this. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, I really don't have anything bad to say about this company. And then we're moving on to Sexy Mr. Morgan. This is from Dex... Dexter Morgan, the show, which I love. I just watched it last night again because I record it. It says, Journey to Miami, where everyone's favorite serial killer resides. Tropical pineapple and coconut splashes with mandarin and red currant. This is very strong, and it lasts super strong. I remember I put it um, in the morning. I was home all day. Then I had to leave, and when I came back at night, it was still going super strong. You smell more the pineapple. I broke the knife, you guys. Yeah, I broke the knife. But there it is. Look at that. It's a knife and little drops of blood because he's a serial killer. But he's good. He only kills bad guys. <laughs> so I love this. The pineapple is definitely the strong note. I didn't get the note of, on anything else. But love it. Can't go wrong. Anything with Dexter Morgan, I love it. All right. This is my disappointment of the whole, of uh, all of them. Um... Where was the information on it? Okay, it's sleep tight. 
which is lavender and chamomile intertwine to soothe and calm while promoting sleep. Organic dried lavender buds and chamomile flower enhance the experience. This smells really good on a cold throat. It's like a perfect combination of chamomile and lavender, and it doesn't smell like too herbally. It smells great, except I got no scent throw from this. I did one cube in my daughter's room, two cubes in mine, and I couldn't... I couldn't smell it either or she has a light bulb warmer I have a hot plate warmer in my room and still no scent row so this one I would not repurchase unless you know she messaged me and said hey I triple the oil on that one then I will because I would I would really like for this to throw well because this is just an awesome blend but that's it you guys I absolutely love this company I recommend everyone to try them out um, I'm waiting till she adds a little bit more scents because I want to do a 20 pack, but I don't want to have to get the same scents and you know, so, but that is it. Please comment, like this video and always don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.